Hi, Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, and I'm answering a few of your email questions. This question is relating to employee references and how to conduct them. The question is, what is the proper way to conduct an employee reference, and can I be sued if I give a bad reference? Well, in the uh, world that we live in, you can certainly be sued for anything. A good reference, a bad reference, and a different reference, anything you think about, you, <laughs> you can certainly be sued for. But as it relates to employment, one of the ways that you can certainly protect yourself, um, even if you are sued, one way that you can protect yourself is, one, to have a written policy on your reference checks. How do you conduct reference checks and make sure that every reference check is conducted the same way every single time? Now, a lot of times people think, okay, this person left my employee. They did this to me. They said that to me. I didn't like this. I didn't like them. So now I have an opportunity to destroy them and I'm going to take, I'm going to take uh, the opportunity to do it. Well, that's wrong on so many levels. It's wrong um, on a moral level. It's wrong on a professional level. It's just plain wrong. You know, don't take advantage of the power that you have to ruin someone else's life because the reality is the relationship that you have with someone may not be the relationship that they have with someone. Things change. Things change in people's lives. All kinds of things can can. Um, can have an impact on who the person was when they were under your employee. So please, 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 my small business owners and entrepreneurs uh, and hiring managers and, and big wigs and all of you who have the ability to do reference checks and give reference checks, don't use that as ammunition for someone who um, has left your employee under less than desirable circumstances. So as it relates to your reference check, one thing to remember is that less is always more. It is our policy here at Career Magazine, um, as well as my parent company, Step Enterprises, Inc., that we give out the basic information. The information that we give out is the name that they were employed with under us, the dates of employment, and also their title. And we give out the title that we have on record for them because uh, statistics say that over 80% of resumes have embellished titles. So if a person worked with us as a secretary, but they have office manager on their resume, well, they've already opened up a can of worms for further discussion and possibly an opportunity for the person who's interviewing them to uh, think twice about hiring them for several reasons. So you see, that's why we don't have to... Um, we don't have to be the ones to um, try to tell about their character. They will tell it on themselves. If you give people enough rope, they will hang themselves. So you don't have to worry about um, ever doing that. So what we do is we limit it to the name, the dates of employment, and the title. Now, there is a tricky question that many employers will ask, and that question is, are they eligible for rehire? Uh, you have to be very careful about how you answer that question because sometimes if you say no, that can be the equivalent of a bad reference. Um, if it is your policy, um, let me kind of back up a little bit. I used to work for um, Overture Card Systems and Overture Card Systems is a company that processes credit cards. And because of the extensive background search that you are background check that they go through, you know, they come to your house, they see who's living in your house, they um, do, you know, your own credit report, they do, um, you know, they, they check up on your spouse, they do all kinds of, of things um, before they will hire you. And their background checks were just very, very expensive. And so because of that, it is their policy that once you leave their employee that you can't come back because of how expensive it is for you to get on board. So when I was conducting employee references and someone would ask, are they eligible for rehire? I would say no, but I would also give them the explanation and let them know that that is our company policy. It has no bearing on um, their work habits or their work ethics. That's just our company policy because of the extensiveness that it takes for us to bring someone on board. So be careful about how you answer that question. Um, 
And then second of all, um, there's there's tons of laws out there that um, that provide uh, protection against you know some of the legal challenges for disclosure in the following five categories. And this is information that you really, really have to be careful that you don't disclose it to the wrong person. So, of course, we, we talked about dates of employment, but also compensation and wage history, um, job descriptions and duties, training and education that was provided for the employer, or acts of violence such as, um, or acts of violence, theft, harassment, and illegal conduct. So you have to be uh, very careful as it relates to the information that you give away. So for employers who will be giving the reference check, I would just advise you to be mindful that less is more and the less information you can give, the better, because it will definitely keep you off the hot seat. Now you terminated that person or let them go or separated them for some reason. So you don't need for them to come back um, under less than desirable circumstances such as a lawsuit, all right? So I'm Stephanie C. Harper with Career Magazine with your tip to help you do better, know better, and live better. We'll talk soon. Bye now.